Hey guys, real versus dupe on the iconic Novacek classic Burberry scarf. So this scarf is five or six years old. So there's so many iterations of even the classic scarf. They're not exactly the same, but there are some things that are dead giveaways with these dupes that are out there. So this is the dupe and you can find them at these like local flea markets or whatever. And um, this one is, there's some dead giveaways on this one. So let me go over some of them. First of all, you could take a look at the coloring, right? This is like a tan versus almost like a warm camel tan. The Burberry color is a clear color. Now there are other colors, but this is the classic Novacek. Secondly, and the label is gonna be a dead giveaway most of the time. So when you take a look at the label, you should be able to put your finger through it. This is actually glued down, uh, but you should be able to put your finger through it. There should be perfect stitch stitching on the left, perfect stitching on the right, and then and the color is really matching, right? Secondly, on the actual label, well, thirdly, really, on the label, when you take a look at label versus label, when you take a look at the real label, label and you'll have to really look closely on this, the R's on the Burberry and even the Y has like a kickstand under it, right? So they look like, the R looks like a little kickstand with a bottom on it. And then it actually like curves up a little bit. So it's like a fancy little R with those little, little details. So when you take a look at it, you can really see that like that type of font that has a lot of detail and structure to it. It's always perfectly placed and perfectly spaced. The Burberry here, these R's just basically, it's like an R and it goes down. And the Y is just a Y, although the Y has the little edge, but it doesn't have the little links. So when you take a look at it, this is a mass produced label that is just messy. So the font isn't even clear and the lettering, although it might be actually perfectly spaced and it's actually perfectly positioned because it's not crooked or anything. Um, it's actually um, nowhere near the right font, right? And they'll say different things. This one says made exclusively in Scotland. This was a while ago when they were only making them in Scotland. Since then they actually make them in France um, and they say other things as well in England. Um, and I think right now they actually even make them in Asia, but um, it, they'll say different things, but always take a look at the logo. The logo is a dead giveaway. Finally, look at the pattern. The Nova check has three black lines and then it has squares of red going all the way through. Again, symmetrical top to bottom, left to right, but the squares will always make a perfect square around the black. So there are, there are always three black lines going both ways and there's one red line going both ways and it will always make a perfect square. If you take a look at this pattern, I'll spread it out a little bit. Um, this almost has like rectangles and it doesn't have the three lines. So once you know what to look for, it's really easy to spot when you take a look at this iconic piece. Hope it helps.